This is the one I just took out of the soaking and rinsed off. Just one soaking. We got some nice pieces. Big container got a crack in it over the winter, so I had to basically rent. You want to do something bigger than this, um, but I had to pile them up in this little container because the big one didn't hold water. And I'm off to soak the second batch. I have two or three batches about this size. This one is kind of cool, I like these. Here's another one. Kind of neat. It's a little double. Actually, quadruple. It's hard to get in focus on my phone here. more and then we'll start cleaning the next batch. Alright, I transferred the ones that went through the first soak into the larger bin. As you can see, they're not completely clean. It's only one soak. And I'm kind of doing it half-assed. Because I have so many and I have no contain no large containers that don't leak this container leaks. And then here are the dirty ones. They have dirt on because they came from Paradise Falls. A lot of them a lot of the crystals there float in the dirt and the decayed rock right below the dirt. So they're like a lot of them are covered up, like, just encrusted in mud and dirt. Right, I'm going to rinse these off as good as I can under the sink, the kitchen sink. I don't have a hose out here, um, which will involve me filling it, dumping it, filling it, dumping it, filling it, dumping it. And then I'll be back. Okay, I'm done with the initial rinse, just rinsing off the dirt. I tried, you know, and scrub them. I just used my hand. This one actually wasn't a Herkimer. <laughs> I must have thought it was, but it's just a rock. So that one gets tossed. And what we do 
is we have iron out right here. You can get this in almost any any store like Walmart or the CLR and plumbing, liquid plumber, I guess, would be near it. This is used to clean out the iron stains and inside coffee makers and stuff like that. But what we do is get some of the powder. And I'm just guessing. I'm not going by by uh, by the directions. I never did. <laughs> Basically. A generous amount, and this stuff's pretty cheap. Iron out's pretty cheap, so especially with this many Herkimers. Then you'll see the water start to fizz. Alright, it's been soaking overnight. Now all we gotta do is rinse them off. Really good. And then we'll go from there. I usually just leave it running like this for a few minutes. So I'll leave it running for a few minutes and then we'll come back and drain it out. Okay, and here we are. First rinse on these is done. Like I said, I'll probably do another one. Get a toothbrush and scrub anything, any dirt that gets stuck in crevices or cracks. You get a toothbrush. They also have water pick water guns. I'm not sure the exact name of them, but they work really good. You can't use them on delicate clusters though, or they get damaged. There's some half decent ones in here. That one. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty. This one kind of caught my eye before. See, it's got Dolomite Cube inside of it. I think, yep, that's what that is. Dolomite Cube Inclusion. Not bad for the first for the first run on them. I have so many of them, so it's, I can't. It would take me all day to 
to wash it, to scrub each one with a toothbrush and hit it with a water pick. Any of that black on, on the surfaces on them it won't come off with iron out. It might come off with a water pick. It won't come off with a, with a toothbrush either. Alright. And there's the last run. A lot of that orange is not on the surface, it's inclusions, like that one's a nice little golden healer, they call them. And that's that.